talking with Jake about chemistry that develops and you guys had a chance to play last spring together how, how have you seen it evolve over training camp and now into the start of the early regular season I think it's just you know reps anytime you get more reps together um, as a pairing and as a team in general um, you know the things you're trying to work on the tendencies are they're gonna become more familiar for each other so um, it's a pleasure playing with them Communication is as well big time in terms of navigating four checks and making sure your partner's not going to take a hit to make a play if he doesn't have to. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a physical league. It's, it's fast. Uh, every team's trying to hand the other group you know, in their own end. So as little time you can spend breaking out as possible, you want to be quick and clean. Um, and communication uh, and execution are probably the big two towards doing that. When things were clean against Boston, and they were for most of the night, what did what did you guys like as a five-man group in the D zone? Um, just that communication yeah. again. Uh, you you want to be able to get in people's way. You want to be fast back on pucks, and any bit of uh, you know the cleaner your execution, the more deceptive you can be, and all that. The the easier the puck is to handle for the next guy you're giving it to. Um, you know you don't want to just hand your problems off. Uh, you know in this league, guys won't be happy with you coming back to the bench. So you just want to. Make sure you're making uh, you know the game easier for the next guy. Four points from the blue line and the win Saturday night. Things have just carried through from the preseason, have haven't they? And what have you liked as as you guys have been able to continue that trend and maybe hopefully continues it in Winnipeg? Well, so many teams pack it in tight now in their own end that you've got to kind of relieve pressure with the blue line. And um, you know the trend in the NHL is more mobile, uh, better two-way you know defensemen throughout the league. Our team's no different. I think that's how we're uh, you know assembled. Um, and the coaching staff definitely wants us involved in trying to kind of open up the ice for our, for our skilled forwards. What are you seeing from the skilled forwards up front? I said to Jake, is it a matter of making that first pass and watch them go, and maybe, lo and behold, you might have your name mentioned over the PA system? Yeah, exactly. Well, it, but they're also really good at getting it back to you. You know, they see the ice so well. They create a lot of room for themselves and others. Um, you know, your goal on the ice is always to get it to your best players. So mm -hmm. just get it to those guys. Let them do what they do. Um, and usually success will end up coming your way, everyone's way, you know, uh, when the red light goes on. You have an appreciation of this team's history now going to Winnipeg. I know it's brand new for you, but it's tough building to, to play and tough building to win it. Yeah, I played there when I was 16 at that U17 World mm -hmm. Challenge. I haven't been back, so I think there were 13,000 at that game or something like that, so I'm expecting it to be, you know, just as loud and, uh, you know, it, it should be a fun barn to play in.